They're outside. Whoa, shit. They're outside because they're removing tree limbs, I guess. The theory is if they remove... <laughs> This is a stupid theory, I think, but if they remove the tree limbs, there'll be less debris to get in the gutters, will make, in turn, less flooding? If the gutters get backed up? I don't, I don't really know. Sounds like, sounds like a silly plan to me, but they're out there doing it anyway. Oh, crazy. You like gum apples. You didn't even have a ladder, you just climbed up, huh? <sighs> So, got construction, tree construct, deconstruction going on this morning. A little deconstruction. Hey man, I'm a deconstruction worker, buddy. We had a minor issue. Oh, you good? I don't care. Come, on, come inside, leave them alone. Lots of tree branches. The words do not use are on the inside of this piece of wood. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. You can stay inside. You're bothering them, and the gate's open, so you'll just escape. Not an inside game. Hey, come on. Stop. I know you wouldn't be outside with the construction guy. I know. I know. I'm gonna drill a hole in this and suspend it from the ceiling, and you're just gonna hang from it. Only throw frisbee in the house, is that what we're gonna do? Because we don't have a parent here. <laughs> we need an extended height table. Because where, find... where the fuck we found that? No, they pop up and do it. Just for folding so she doesn't break her back. I mean, I don't care if she breaks her back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're young, what the fuck? You're the youngest one out of the whole squad. Your back's in tip top shape. Yeah, let's just be doing squats and yoga and Pilates. Dude, the normal postal scale is 40. I think this one was 20 more bucks. And what the fuck? Wait, and it should save us tons exact like. I want a spreadsheet per week. <laughs> Or return it. We're gonna my twenty dollars back, motherfucker. We got it. Hey, oh hey, shit! That's the fucking merchant. Now, save Brandy again. We got her an electric stapler. Is that even gonna work? We're gonna see. It should. It should. I feel like it's not gonna be able to keep up to my speed. Well, in that case, we brought you guys this nice, fast little handout. That's not gonna work. No, you would slide the side of the. It ain't gonna fucking fit, dum dum. Oh yeah, it's not. Wait. How is it gonna fit over the entire? It's to two it inches down like long. This far. It's yeah, you have to staple in. it down the side. The only way that would work is if you came from the sides. Oh, well, we can return this, but um, <laughs> who the fuck needs an electric staple? I didn't even know they existed, yeah. and then I was like, you know why? Because no one's ever bought one. They're calling the fucking corporate office, right? Told you, Tom. I told you. Told We're you. on our way. Dual power. Dual right. power. Yeah, because you know the last electric staplers that came out just weren't quite. Got powerful. you these for your microphone. Oh, I think you. Aaron likes to cut me off while we're walking together. Mm. I don't know if you ever have this Can issue. Can cut anybody off walking? But he likes to like walk. kind of walk in front of you and then you might trip over him. I don't attention. have this issue. It's just really. me that yeah, we, don't, we don't have this issue. Also, I also don't think I would walk behind Ern. I don't. Oh. He just cuts me off. Oh, he just, I don't know about this. It's like be, you're driving. Maybe like a, he's trying to keep you from the world thing. Yeah. Keep you hidden. You aren't hiding your brandy from the world. No. You're hiding the world from brandy. That's right. I just keep tracking to make sure it's moving. I'm like, I don't want to see. Like, last night, I'm just like, please pick it up. Please pick it up. It's like 8.30. Our time's still not picked up. I'm like, Jesus Christ. This thing's not going to leave till Friday. It's going to be Monday. We paid extra for Monday. But nope. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's more. I would fuck it. I'll be losing my goddamn In trans <laughs> Right now, it's in Kentucky. Go to Kentucky and just intercept. Yeah. Damn, I'm telling you, this shit's going to be here by t tonight and then just get dropped at the house in the morning. <laughs> okay. I'm almost sick out there so bad. I know. <laughs> What's wrong, Omar? Yeah, last night, Louisville, Kentucky, boy. We got. Don't open I'm it. Still, what are you doing? I'm still confused, but I can go back together. I'm just trying to. But are No. Dude, are you serious right now? The sticker pack. Where you're, are they? Your Where mind is gonna. Be, nobody sees what I see. Oh, here. that's for fucking sure. No, yes. ours is exactly this long. It'll fucking literally be stapling the stickers in the pack. Okay. Uh -huh. You fold it over and then you hit that side and that side outside of this. You won't be able to do that because of how far this is a set place. You oh, can't it would be where it's in looking. all the way, so it would staple the stickers. Yes. You're, see, I was thinking the opposite. You were saying. <laughs> Okay, now it makes sense. Brandy was trying to yell at me all morning about cutting her off, and I'm like, I didn't fucking cut you off. How do you get cut off by me? Like, we're walking. I'm like, if this is traffic, 
and it's a fucking car, and you're behind me, and you see me go left. You troll you, your wife and you, just walk in front of her. No, I don't even do this. Walking out of Walmart, all of a sudden, Brandy is the slowest fucking person in the world. Slowest walking person. Stay in frame while you're telling the story. I'm taking the camera. All of a sudden, she cuts around me and is just like beelining for the car. And I'm like, this is the fastest she's ever walked in her life. So we get to the car. Yeah, right. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Don't put that in the vlog. Dirty, don't put that in the vlog, Ern. <laughs> like, let's say I start walking to the right a little and you're behind me. Just either slow down or move to the left. It's like traffic. If you see a car in front of you moving, you're responsible. Oh She's saying gosh. like, we're walking together like side this. And while we're walking, I just like, uh, just walk in front of you and she's gotta be like, oh, shit me you off. You guys would just hold hands. You wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, that's true, Brad. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Really, it's really just because you're not connected. That's true. You get static because you're not connected. That's all there is to it. You just gotta reach your finger out, ET. What are we rolling up? I gotta smoke something. I don't know, but this fucking lemon G is fire. I was the last one. If they have it again, get all of it. Yeah. God damn it. Remember when we had the terror alert yeah. in the United States? Do we still have it? What we need is the color coded system. Color coded system that will tell everybody how scared they should be. Yeah. How scared are you? You should be. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Now be scared. Yep. Shut up, Teddy. America's the greatest country Man, in the he's world. Calling. Here we go. You're what? We're gonna, we have an obstacle course we're setting up for you and I to walk through together. It's a test walk. The test walks walk. to see if Part I can do it without cutting you off. It. Teddy's administered it as our minister. A few relationship tests. Yeah, a few I relationship tests he wants to do now. All right, love you. You want me to tattoo Brady's name on you real quick? In the house? Just plug him by hand before she gets back? Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it. Let's do it, I'll do it. I don't have a power supply here. Damn it. Can you do it by hand? <laughs> Just hand poke it. It'll take me like fucking four hours. Also take note, I love trolling though. And if I could troll Brandy in this quick moment and have her come back to her name tattooed on me, I would do it. I have a yeah super cut of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like every day I take all your yeahs and I put them in a folder. No one knows because it looks like it's labeled the band yeah, yeah, yeahs, but it's really just every yeah you've spoken in the last year and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta yeah. roll a joint here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to clean. Oh. Brand. Back up. Off. Off. Leave it. Don't do it. This is some of the 12 by 18s. Whoa. Shit. That was paper. It just sounded loud. Woo! Oh, this thing, you can't throw batteries in, so you could go electric holding it in your hand. This is God. Called yeah. wireless. Wireless. Fucking brain is wireless. My brain is wired, dog. It works like my phone. Yeah, your shit's been throttled. <laughs> you used up too much fucking power this month. Oh, is it? There's a hydrant just pouring water all over the road. We can go check uh, it out. Uh, oh, Mark, careful. Oh. Omar, stay on the sidewalk. Don't follow me. I don't lead by example. Come on, Ohms. Are yeah, you still leaving? Yeah. Nope. Done? Yeah. yeah. God damn. The spring click. I heard click. I was like, what the fuck is that? John's tree. Yeah. Here's tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, it's too hot out here for you. Too hot out for you. Yeah, it is really hot. Back in there, back in the AC. Stop, Brand. Stop. Yeah, you must have just saw the end of it or you're trolling us. Okay, uh, so they're gone. The shipping department has been assembled. Because uh, box is coming tomorrow. What'd you forget? Peace. So they're gone now. Shipping, getting ready. Friends and family packages are coming in tomorrow that are gonna get shipped out tomorrow. I have to finish working on the drop. It's pretty much done. Next drop that I'm gonna do, which isn't for a while, but again, I have to get ahead of all this stuff. The hard part about production really is that you have to get super far ahead of things. Yeah, but as far as graphics go and shit like that, I have to work stuff out early, which is why it's really just been crunch time crazy for me this week in drawing. But I also enjoy it because I just really like to draw and I'm not complaining in any way. And uh, so today I have to finish this up. I said yesterday I was gonna do the whole word. I kind of did like a loose sketch of it. But I have to fix up the parts that don't make sense and shit like that. Color these two. Well, 
I just had a huge delay. Well, the battery died. I came out here. There were no batteries charging. There were some dead batteries on the counter. All the other batteries were gone. To call Ern, who said, I only have one battery. I've only got one. And then he brought one, two, three, four, five batteries over. I'm gonna have to get a fucking metal detector at the front door. A little security check. My dog's gonna be working naked like New Jack City. While I was waiting to draw, I was in my Twitter. And of course, like every day, uh, all day, there's people in my Twitter. Some of you I love, it's awesome, we talk. I have like, basically, you guys are like fucking friends, make fun of each other, it's great. But some people just like, a few things have come up today. Uh, one thing that is constant, that just, is continuous now is that boost is dead it's this whole idea we've talked about this a few times but it's kind of like tumbled into different comments two different conversations and one is not aggressive at all it's just like you know talking about the channel and where how i don't really talk about shoes as much as i used to and some people think not at all and how the channel used to be all about shoes, which is also not true. But what people aren't really realizing here is that I was talking about what I like. I wasn't just buying shoes to buy shoes. Of course, it got to a point where there was stuff coming out that I was checking out because of the channel. I've been super vocal about not really liking. Like, Ultra Boost 4.0 to me is fine. I like it. The colors that are coming have not been interesting. The only thing that's come out recently that I really like are models that we already have, like Pharrell's and Yeezy. They're just different colors. So there's really not a lot for me to talk about. Anything that has come out that has any kind of history behind it, like BYW, I still go into and explain, but there's really just not a ton for me to talk about. And then the new models that have come out where they've reduced the amount of boost they're using, they've Frankensteined other shit together, they're going with weird themes like Game of Thrones. I can't follow that. Like, I just never started off to hey, let me follow the trends of the sneaker world. And like, even though I went to sneaker cons and did sneaker related things, like that is just like where my life was at that point. And if there's this golden hour of shoes again, where Boost, Ultra Boost 1.0 to, in my opinion, the beginnings of 4.0 and everything that happened in between that, then that is what it is. And if there's certain models that come out that I still appreciate, like the Gauches, I really love. I think it's one of the best shoes this year. No one even gives a fuck. I still get what I like. I still work with sneakers. Sneakers, yes, but like life is life. It's really confusing to me and I'm not trying to like beat people up either But a lot of this shit like people are my mentions and they're like boost is dead and they're feeling themselves because they just got a new off-white Nike or whatever. That's great. That's congratulations You know like I gave my opinion about what I thought about Jordan what I think about Jordan and I make fucking jokes and shit I didn't like find some random person on the internet who likes something else and put their ad on it and make sure that they knew what I thought and that's where it gets weird if you feel so strongly about these things why do you feel the need to tell me if you're trying to prove to yourself that what you're wearing is so cool that it's gonna make you special and it's not making you it doesn't make you special even the most rare shoe in the world doesn't make you special most people don't give a shit you know if you go to the fucking fair down the street there may be 10 people that know what shoes you're wearing and if you're walking around just looking for people to be looking at your shoes like what are you even really doing it's wearing cool shoes is great Have Having shoes that you really like is great. Having shoes that are height or limited is just sort of a uh, byproduct, I think, of a few things, but usually because they're collaborations, they just make less of them. It's just like base economics. You know, why would they release 20,000 pairs of a collaboration when they have a bunch of pairs to sell themselves? It's weird to me, there's a lot of shit going on, but another thing that did happen out of all this, the whole purpose of this talk, is that there was a gentleman who I don't necessarily know. I'm sure that his name has come over around before but on twitter it's uh mjo2 when he oh, mjo23dan so it's like m jordan basically but he collects shoes and he has videos and all that jazz but you know he brought up a good point as far as shoes a lot of times i don't talk about some of the shoes that have come out or are coming out because i don't want to be negative either like i don't want to just like turn on the camera and be like i hate this i hate that I don't like this I don't like 
that, but I, I think Adidas has sort of like lost their way in some ways. If it was my company, I wouldn't do it this way, but also at the same time, I have friends that work there, so I feel fucking kind of weird, you know? I like talk shit, and I'm like, eh, I don't like this. I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to be respectful in a weird way, but at the same time, like I like to roast things, so I, it's just a weird thing. I just kind of wanted to not be negative, I guess. But, like when I complain about um, what Nike's doing or Adidas is doing, there's like backlash from it where people are just like, oh, now you this, now you that. Well, now, yeah, now I don't like what they're doing. Just because I like something for a little bit doesn't mean that uh, I have to continue to like it, especially if the recipe changes. A lot of things that Adidas over the last, what, two years, two and a half years have changed. It is what it is. And so maybe, you know, maybe in the future when new releases come, I'll offer constructive criticism on what I like and don't like. You know, I, I, I'm not close minded to the idea. It's just, uh, I was just really like trying not to be negative. But shout out to, uh, I'm just going to call him 23. 23 Jordan, it's, it's hard to say. But yeah, it was cool to talk to him just because um, talking about the difference between roasting a product and enabling brand and option to do better. So I mean, just reading the tweet. But that's fair, I'll admit that that's fair that if instead of just being like, yeah, I don't like this shoe, uh, I'm not copping that, it's trash, explaining what I don't like about it. It's clear that I can say whatever I want, you know? I mean, obviously. Vlog shit, dog. Content giving you the content you desire. Yeah, some people in my mentions are absolutely crazy. I don't know, man. Some people are just, some people just need to chill. You know, like if you love your shoes that much, that's great, but I'm literally never arguing with anybody to be like, you should like this product. <laughs> and other people are telling me that product you like is fucking you shouldn't like it. You're stupid for liking that product. Like, whatever I've said in the past, I don't want to wear the same shoes I wore in third grade. I don't want to like, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry that if I've offended you, the products that I've chosen to wear. <laughs> this is silly. I'm just rambling. That's pretty much it. I'm done drawing for the day. I gotta get some editing done. Get started on the production section of this ordeal. Shipping station is getting set up. Balls are rolling in the direction. I've been saying balls rolling a lot. I don't know why. It sounds very stepdash. The shit is set up. That sounds better. But yeah, that's pretty much the day. Omar's limp is a little better today as well. Yeah, just regular life shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? No packages have come in. No shoes really on the way either. The only thing coming out that I've ordered, I'm waiting on the AKOG. Is that what it's called? Whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the Ultra Boost, the two that came. The tan one is re-releasing in other consortium stores, so I will get that shoe. The blue one that only 200 pairs exist uh probably not honestly i don't one it's just not worth it those shoes like if the price comes down i guess maybe but uh for me that's just like such a hype thing because no one's giving a shit about a pair of ultra boost and i don't know how long and then all of a sudden it's just you put a limited number on it and everybody acts like it's a big deal so for me you know i want the shoe because i'm a real collector but i'm not like i'm not like playing this weird ass like hey three thousand dollars for another ultra boost this is not not in 2018 dog come on but yeah other than that the new pharrell's which i love and i love that people don't seem to like them i have that solar pack that was called the afro pack super sick i'm looking forward to it does the box ruin the front which is the main question uh no, not really. I see how people might want it without it being there, but at the same time, I don't mind it at this point either because I've seen samples with no box that don't look that great. Maybe there's a fucking reason. Other than that, I really can't think of another shoe, you know? I mean, like, not a new model that I can think of. So, um, I haven't really looked, but nothing strikes me right now. It's also, like, the end of the quarter, so we might not see much until after August. We'll see what happens. You're geared up for the holidays, which is kind of crazy to say out loud. I'm gonna get out of here and start editing. Hopefully, finish this tonight. I just need to clean it up, and I keep, keep uh, procrastinating. Actually, I don't. I keep getting busy. All right, I'm out of here. Love y'all. Peace!